Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a couple different things. I've got a couple canvases down here and we're going to put this little guy to the test. This, I debated on whether to get one of these. The, it's this little tiny blow dryer. Looks like this. If you watch a lot of YouTube videos, which I do, in this acrylic pouring world, these things are very, very, very popular. So I thought we'd put it to the test. So what I'm going to do is I've got my handy dandy blow dryer that I've used since day one on my channel, and I'm going to put it to the test. And so today's colors that I'm going to use, I mixed up some um, Crafter Smart white with some Floatrol. There's a whole bunch in here. That, plan on doing a few more videos and you know I like to flood my canvas with white. So today I thought we would play again with this color shot. These are so pretty and this is smoke and mirror. So pretty. And then I I bought these. Um, they're from Shutterfly and it's acrylic paint. And I've been using, I've had them since before Christmas. So I've had them for a while. But I've been using their paint brushes for other other types of painting that I do. And I'm just in love with their paint brushes. So I'm hoping that I'm going to love this just as much as I do their paint brushes. So before we get started, if you would hit that subscribe button. And it should be right about there. And so you get upcoming videos of what's coming on. And I've got some really fun things coming your way. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun on this channel. So having said all that, um, I'm going to try to do the same thing on both of them. And I'm actually going to use water again. I'm getting better with mixing my paints with water. I'm going to use these plastic cups because I really don't care too much for... Um, these little, these things here, just, they just don't like it. So anyway, I'm going to mix up my paint. I'm going to put my, I'm going to use the Artist Loft uh, paint pouring canvases, which you guys know I love. So I thought we would put them to the test also in regards to the blow dryer. So I'm going to mix up some paint and put the canvas aside for just a minute. And so I thought that while I'm mixing up my paint, I will talk to you about how my success is coming along here on YouTube. And I'll also talk to you a little bit about um, Facebook, too. And that I'm getting some pretty good success over on Facebook as well as here on YouTube with my channel. I have um, started... Um, like a group thing over there on Facebook. Then the group is very quiet, um, not much activity. I'm still learning how to grow the group thing. And, so, but yeah, the reels are doing really well. Like I, I've discovered that there's a couple different, gosh, these things go all over the place. Um, I've discovered that there's a couple different types of people out there. There's the kind that really want to watch my entire video from start to finish, and they're probably friends and family. But then there's the other folks who want to watch a quick, short video and kind of see what I did and then move on and watch something else, whether they watch me because they think that whatever I'm doing is funny or whatever. So, yeah. And the same thing with Facebook. There's, like I said, and I find myself too, it's like somebody starts something and it's like, oh, just get to the end of it. It's kind of like when you, it's like those videos that come on and say, I'll pick on tinnitus. That's a good one because I have tinnitus. They, they'll come on and say, you know, I've got this cure for tinnitus, which we know is not out there. And then you watch 45 minutes of a video of this guy going on and on and on and on and on about tinnitus and its cure. And all you want to do is get to the end and get the cure. But you have to watch all the crap before you get to the end. Yeah. 
No. No, no, no. I get that. I get that. And I think I'm going to need more paint than what I put in here. For two canvases. So, yeah, I don't know. also like when I leave the bloopers in here because well tell you what the other night I spent 20 minutes trying to do an intro I just could not get the intro to my video to do anything it was like I just could not explain myself I don't know it's just it's weird so anyway so these colors that I'm using I've got like I said, the Shutterfly one is a deep green, and I've got one that is a yellow orchid, and I've got bright green. So I think they're going to be really pretty. So let's get some water in for here. And I'm going to mix one before I mix the others to see what kind of reaction I get with water here. Yeah, yeah, it's mixing really well. It's a pretty color. The deep was it deep deep green? To me it looks like blue. Blue screen, it's pretty. We got a little bit of snow today. We we're supposed to get half inches of snow. We probably got three inches out there. A lot of snow coming up this weekend, so if you don't have anything else to do, watch my videos. <laughs> a lot of YouTube video watching out there this weekend. Yes! Or if you're wanting to do some painting, grab, some, grab a canvas and grab some paint, grab some water, and throw some paint on the canvas and see what happens, right? Do we want more silver? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, a little bit of water. Okay. Okay. Let's get the canvases back over here. We will have some fun with this. Like I said, I'm going to put these blow dryers to the test. Yeah, as well as keep learning how to mix that paint with water. Yes. So like I said, I'm going to flood the canvas with white on both of them. Like I said, I'm going to try to do equal equal things on both canvases and kind of see what we get. Hopefully we get some pretty cool stuff. Let's see which blow dryer. Like I said, I fell in love with my little, I think I spent like $10 on that blow dryer over there. The th interesting thing about blow dryers is, and if you're thinking, well, I have a blow dryer, and, and you can use your blow dryer that you use for your hair, just make sure it has a cool setting, and that's because if it gets too hot, the paint doesn't like that. So it likes cool air being blown on it, not, doesn't like a lot of hot air. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. I really like this um, Crafters Mart paint. It is just so much so that I bought like a big, when last time I was at Michael's, they had it on sale, big containers of it. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, for the longest time I used um, my house paint, white house paint, which works really well, but now that I'm painting inside and I don't, it's interior paint, but just, because it's winter and usually the windows are closed, even though I got uh, fresh air, things blown in here. Yeah, I don't know if I want that much paint fumes inside the house. So, by sticking, moving to this type of paint, there's no fumes. I mean, tiny, tiny, but nothing to be all that concerned about. So, all right, now comes the fun part. I'm going to torch that just a little bit if I can locate my torch. Hmm. Well, maybe not. I guess I can open a new one. 
I buy these torches. I have the big torch. It scares the bejesus out of me. Not, so I get these little torches whenever I'm at um, Menards or somewhere like that. I buy these little torches. They're like a dollar a piece, so I just buy a couple of them. So, yeah. I'm good to go with that. Okay. Yeah, the big one scares me. I do. Yeah. Just in case. Oh, no. Okay. So here we go. I'm excited. Let's see. What color do I want to go down first? The yellow? Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's really thick. I wonder it's not coming out. Let me store some more, some more water in here. Just a little bit more water. And like, you know, what you're wanting to do is get your consistency. I hear everybody, a lot of people on YouTube say it's like um, warm honey is what you're looking for. And I'm kind of... Yeah, there's plenty of water too. Yeah, see if it pours. Yeah, now it's coming up. Okay. It's a pretty color. What was that? What was the color? Oh, yellow orchid. It's really pretty. This needs more water too. Hmm. Somebody said the other day, I was talking. And talking about what kind of, or like, um, what kind of water do you use? Um, tap water. But you know, everybody's tap water is different. I mean, that's our water upstairs has soft water in it. And that's where I got this water. So it's soft water. So I said, oh my gosh, that would be fun to do, to do like distilled water and bottled water. And I said, why not some sparkly water? Yeah, just to see what it would do. Everybody's needing more water. It's a good indication that if I tell you what, like I said, their paint brushes. With um, when I received the box, and I've got a whole bunch of colors back here. See all the colors sitting back here? Big red colors. And like I said, I've been using their paint brushes for other things. Really nice brushes. <clears throat> I said, like I said, I'll probably put some more colors to it. Not more colors, but more paint. I just layer them up. Let's do this yellow again. This silver is so pretty. Goodness, well, I guess I'll pour a bunch down here like I did on that one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get the blow dryers out and see what they do. Should I use the little one first? Alright, make sure he comes on. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Air spot. It's got a thing where I can change it to cool. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Oh, not anymore. Let's
Oh, it's wattage. I thought I said cool. <laughs> Thank you for not wearing my glasses. That's weird that it's hot. Alright. Well, here we go. Goodness. These paints are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, oh my gosh, out of the park. I don't know what that is. Anyway. Oh my oh the colors are just amazing. Um blow dryer. I'm sorry. No. Um, like I said, there's people that believe in it religiously, and uh, that's that's good because you know we all have our favorites and that sort of thing. Um, I I I I like my silly little Amazon ten bucks. I spent almost thirty dollars for that blow dryer. Yeah. 
um, yeah, it was very hot when the air was coming out. And I, you know, I would stick with the cheaper blow dryer. I just would. I wouldn't go with um, that expensive blow dryer. Now, maybe it's because I bought the travel size. I don't know. Maybe I didn't buy the right one. I'm sure there's somebody out there that would be more than glad to tell me whether I bought the right one or not. But I'm just, you know, not, oh, yuck. We work with paint. <laughs> Every once in a while they have a in them. But these turned out really cute. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what these things are in my paint, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, but these paints, oh my gosh. I mean, they are just, the color shot paint is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful to use. I mean, it's, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, it's just really, sorry, the camera's having a hard time focusing on it. Um, I'll take some close-up pictures of the, of the cameras, but I mean, seriously, it is just really fun paint to work with. So if you come across it, um, they're a little pricey, but what you get is you get some good quality paint. Like I said, I bought those and I'm sure you can buy them other places. I was just out there cruising on um, Home Depot and came across them. Like I said, you know, a lot of your um, hardware stores have are getting more into the crafts because that's where, what people want to do. I mean, it's, yeah. You know, if you're not finding what you want at your craft store and you're wanting something else, some good paints, you know, sometimes, um, I know, like, Home Depot, Menards, and stuff like that. I'm, I always cruise back into their in Lowe's too, into their paint because they'll have like this area of paint where people's that where they've mixed up paint and it's it's on sale and they don't want it and it's just kind of like colors that you may or may not want to put on your walls, but you could do a lot of fun things with them, paint on canvases and stuff. So that's a good way to find some fun stuff and different colors. So yeah, and sometimes they have those little um, like sample like things um, out there too. And yeah, but these are really cute. Um, I, I'm very pleased with the way they turned out and I will do a, um, yeah. I'll, I'll, once they dry, I'll put them up on my little where I uh, my little staging area for the pictures, um, the paintings, and I'll take some really cool pictures of them. We'll go from there. So, all right, um, I'm going to get off here and do some other things. And yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Great to meet in, being on here with you guys and painting and enjoy doing the one thing that I love almost more than life itself is to create and to just enjoy painting. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy spending time. I just, I'm just having a blast. So thank you for watching. And like I said, get that little subscribe button. That's right there. And so you can get the videos as they come up and yep. Yeah. So I'm going to get off here and I go fix dinner and all that fun stuff. Check on cheddar. And yep, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Go out there, be awesome, be great, and do your thing. Talk to you soon.